Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lori and this is episode two of the Yes You Can series and this is Yes You Can Start Over. Yes you can. Yes you can. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter what your past history is. Yes you can. All right so I wanted to be very transparent in that because I think they say like every seven to eight years or whatever, you do a different change in your life, right? It's kind of like if you're a female, your cycles can change and just in general, like life changes um, every so many years, like your mindset and everything. Here's where you got to stop with the fear. You got to stop with saying, oh, it's too late. I'm too old. I don't have the skills. I don't have the rest, the resources. Mm -mm. You're looking for every reason to not have it. So very often you're like, yeah, you know what? I do want to, I do want to start something new. And you might get really excited. You might be like, yes, you like get a bunch of stuff. You do that. And then that weird imposter syndrome kicks in and you're like, but do you like, do you really think that there's a place for some, for this in the world? Like, so now you start picking yourself apart because you start second guessing it. Because when you first had that inclination, that inspiration to be like, yeah, this is what I want to do. It was all exciting right? Because you're in that like uptick of that dopamine and all of that. But when the baby steps come into play, sometimes that can be a deterrent for you. And I just did a, like a, a whole podcast on, on uh, perfectionism. But the reality is, is you can't be perfect because you're, it doesn't exist. Like it's just not there. Like it's not real. You can't achieve something that doesn't exist. So the important factor is, is knowing that, you know what, you're supposed to not know in the beginning. Even people who come out of like med school for like surgery, brain surgery, all of these big things, they're not nervous, but they're still like, oh my God, I'm out on my own now. Like, okay. I mean, I've talked to people who have just recently come out of colleges and like they're older because they've been in years and years and years of school. And you'd be like, wow, you have so much more knowledge than me. Yes, that's true. Yes, they do. But they are still human. They're still like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't screw this up. Now they don't obsess on it. But I'm just telling you that because very often when you want to start something new, you find 8,000 reasons why it won't work. At first you're excited and you're like, mm, yeah, but everything becomes a yeah, but. Yeah, but this, yeah, but that. I don't know. What if this happens? Secondary to that is, yes, you can fail. Yes, you can make mistakes. That's okay. That's a part of that journey. Stop searching for that end goal. If you're not willing to do those baby steps in between, you're, it, you're going to stay uncomfortably comfortable, right? Because even, if it, even though it's chaotic, you know how to function with that chaos because that's what you've been used to. But if you introduce something and you go, wow, oh, I really just, because how many ideas have you had? I know two o'clock in the morning, I always get these brilliant ideas. Sometimes I'm like, wow, that was brilliant at two. Not so brilliant at seven. Not because I can't do it, because it's just unrealistic, right? So you have to make sure that it's a realistic uh, expectation and a realistic goal for yourself. But then you have to do the research. The end goal isn't just starting your own business and, and opening your own stores and doing all of these things. That's great, but there's so many things that lead up to it. I, I personally have like two LLCs that I run. Both are within for myself. One's my social media brand. One's my actual client brand. So there's a lot that goes into that. There's taxes you have to pay. There's various things you got to do. There's these uh, property things that you got to handle. Like there's a lot of work that goes into it. So don't just focus on the fun or what you want it to be and then feel like you can't do the rest of it. It's just not going to benefit you. And so, yes, you can do it though. You absolutely can do it. A uh, fun little story, a little brief story is when I was in Florida last year, um, we went to this little teeny tiny farmer stand, farmer's market. There was like seven or eight vendors, like tiny. It was under a bridge and there was a lady there and she was, I'm 51, so she was around my age. And so she was selling these chocolate bars from like Cuba. Like she got the chocolate from Cuba, the cacao, whatever, cacao bars. And they were like $15, but they like one could last you a while. Like they're really, and so I, I bought one. I was like, wow, these are so good. And I was like, curious, how did you just start this business? And she said, well, COVID hit. I got laid off from my job and I was in a dark depression. And I figured, well, I can either stay in a dark depression or figure out something. And she said, I started making these for my friends. And they were like, oh my God, this is so good. 
They were like, I would buy these. So they started buying them. And so this was the process. She didn't just wake up and say, I'm going to sell chocolate bars. And then it was fine. No, then she incorporated her business and she changed something. Then she reincorporated it. Then she did this. Now she has to do that. Now she's um, learning more and more about the business. So I share that with you because in that space of feeling stuck, you can stay stuck or you can look for the ways to not be stuck. Doesn't mean it's going to be fun. And yes, you can accomplish it. You're supposed to screw up in the beginning. I don't care how smart you are, how educated you are. Everybody does things in their business and in their company differently. So you're still going to have to learn different things. Be open to learning. Don't get in your head space and don't let other people's head, head, other people's voices in your head say things like, you can't do it. You're too old. Oh, well, what are you going to do about this? Because again, you're going to start picking it apart, especially if you feel like you have to do everything for everybody. Because then you'll be like, oh my God, that sounds good, but I don't have time. The time thing will never fly with me. Every human has the same amount of time in the day. Yeah, you have a lot to do, but you have to ask yourself your priorities. And again, that's where sometimes you feel super stuck, right? Because you're like, I want to do more, but I kind of don't. But I do, but I don't. And so you have to wrestle with yourself and you have to ask yourself, why? What's your why? What, what's the reasoning? Do you want to try something new? Great. Don't wait for other people to support you. Don't wait for other people to say, yeah, that a boy, go ahead. No, you can do it. But make sure that you're doing all of the little teeny tiny mundane, not fun, not exciting, annoying, sometimes stressful. Imagine and allow yourself that time to do that. Give yourself the ability to know that that destination is great. But it's really just a marker that says, look at all those baby steps you did. Now you're here. Because again, I could give you a magic button and, and launch you there. But if you don't know how you got there, you're probably not going to maintain that business. Because you didn't go through it to understand what you need to do to run it. So if somebody gifted you a business right now, literally walked up and like, here's the key to the business. And it comes with, I don't know, $100,000 a year. You're like, great. Well, now you're like, oh my God, what do I do with this business? Like, holy cow, like this is, so you have to be careful of that. That's always the old adage of like, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. But until you understand the, the all of the nuts and bolts, there's a lot of companies now that you could come out of college with, I mean, top degrees. They're still, they'll still pay you well, but they're gonna still start you at the bottom because they want you to know how the business runs. Like you shouldn't know, like, I'm not asking you to know every intricacy of it, but you should know, like, well, where's the mail room? How do they process the mail? What does this happen? What, what do they need to do if they need to order something? Never think that you're better than that either. But that's why a lot of companies will bring you in. They'll still pay you well, but they're still going to start you at the bottom. So you can learn it going up because you're supposed to not know. So if you get too much in your headspace about, I can't do it. What if I'm stupid? What if I fail? What if I do that? Old thought patterns. See, you always have to embrace your fears. Always. Because if you don't, it's going to, like, you're going to have this, like, uh, cognitive distortion of, well, I can't do this. Um, that dialogue, I can't do this. I'm going to suck at it. Uh, in the past, now, now you're going to start bringing up history. In the past, I've sucked at this. Okay, well, that was there. Did we learn something from it? Well, let's go ahead with that now. That's why you have to be careful and because you can't criticize others either. So if you don't understand why they want to sell lemonade as a profession, like full-on profession, you don't have to. They do. It's much like the lady with the chocolate bar. And she had like some top degree. She'll not even do it anymore. She's like, oh, I'm going to do this now. I enjoy it. I love it. Was she apprehensive? Sure. Was she scared? Yeah, she did it anyway. And, and she was saying like, oh, I'm always learning and tweaking and much like my business. I've, you know, you do things one way, cool, it works for a while, need to tweak it. You should always be bettering yourself, bettering your future, bettering things like that in baby steps. So yes, you can start fresh. Yes, you can start over. Yes, don't start over to run away from yourself because no matter where you go, there you are. Just start fresh with the education that you have. And I don't mean book education, the education that you have of your past history of how you did things. Use the pain, turn it to power, or stay in the victim mentality and stay in that loop. But it is ultimately your decision. Not too old, 
I promise you, you're not too old. You're not too young. You're not too this. You're not too that. You're not too mom. You're not too, you're not. So just remember, if you want to start something, be willing to do all of the grunt work. But at the end of the day, yes, you can.